Hi everyone, Steph here from handsbagholic.co.uk. Now, one of the biggest challenges is finding the perfect designer handbag to take with you to work that looks smart, that will last a long time, that will weather the wear and tear that everyday life throws at it, as well as being functional so that we can fit in our laptops, notebooks, toiletries, snacks throughout the day, Every, everything that you need when you go to work. So I decided to pull this video together and I have found 11 designer handbags that I think are fantastic for taking to work. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because I'll be revealing my number one choice after I've showed you these 11. So number one, we'll start with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull Cinch. This is such a classic. So this is a simple tote bag, but it comes in so many different styles, sizes, limited edition prints, as you can see here. Now, one of the things with the tote is that it's very open. So I have a handbag liner with a zipped compartment so you can't see inside. Now taking a look at the website, you can see the GM here and the MM, which is the size that I'm showing you. I would highly recommend the Demi Bean print, which has the dark leather brown handles, as opposed to the normal Vencetta leather, as this will darken over time, especially if you use it a lot. The GM size is the larger of the selection, and finally we have the PM, which is even smaller if you don't need to carry too much. So now let's take a look what fits inside the Neverfull MM. So as mentioned before, I have a handbag liner here. This has a removable zip. Head over to the website and you can purchase one for yourself. It just helps to keep the bag much more organized. So here I have a toiletry bag, a small toiletry bag, which fits perfectly. I have a drinks holder in the liner here. An iPad, which is a normal kind of size iPad a 13 inch MacBook Air that will fit in, but just outside of the liner. So this one will fit a laptop in. This is a book, fits in fine. And that is, you can fit that and some more in the tote bag. So it's a fantastic bag if you just want to throw things in and take it with you. Number two, this is the Louis Vuitton Montaigne bag. So here I have a limited edition Van Gogh print. Uh, this is the MM size to give you an idea of what this bag looks like, but you can get this in the normal monogram as well. So this bag's fantastic because it keeps its structure. Here you go. So this is the monogram version with the Vencetta leather. You can hold it by the top handles or there's a detachable shoulder strap, which I'll show you in a second. And the great thing about this bag are the three compartments. So two main compartments and then a zip compartment as well. So it always looks great and holds its shape really well. So this is the detachable shoulder strap. It sits really nicely under the arm, not too high on the armpits. It's really comfortable. And the top handles just hang down. Uh, this is a great way to wear the bag and you can easily access it as well from the top. So now let's take a look at what fits inside. So a laptop won't fit. This is a diary. Uh, an iPad, a book, um, a toiletry case, you can see inside there, a small zippy purse, which I would put in the center of the bag in the zip compartment actually. And finally, this is the Montaigne bag with a darker outfit. Number three, we have the Louis Vuitton Neo Noi bucket bag. So this bag is a personal favorite of mine. You can see it here. You can get this with different leathers, such as pink, which looks amazing with the monogram. And you can also get the Neo Noi in some limited edition prints as well, if you fancy something a little bit more fun. So as you can see, the bag works really well as a shoulder bag. It sits really nicely. It's very comfortable. And you can super easily adjust it by just undoing the poppers and then redoing them again. And then you can turn this into a crossbody bag. So here it is as a crossbody bag. It's fantastic. It sits at a really nice height, just around the waist. Again, easily accessible uh, when it's worn across body as well, if you need to uh, get anything quickly from the bag. Let's take a look at what we can fit inside. So make sure you get your handbag liners. These Neonoi bucket bags have soft suede linings, so you want to make sure you protect them. A laptop won't fit in. Here we have an iPad, a diary, a book, which fits fine in there, a toiletry bag, 
a bottle of water and that's full now but you can fit quite a lot in this bucket bag so looks are deceiving and this is the bag with a darker outfit. Number four, if you're looking for the height of sophistication, then look for a Capucines. This is a Capucines MM in the colour Gelée, which is a grey beige colour. This one has gold hardware. You can get these bags in so many different colours and sizes. You can get a BB, you can get a Mini, you can get a PM, and this is the MM. So this is quite a large bag. Unfortunately, this one doesn't come with a str shoulder strap and it doesn't fit very comfortably on the shoulder either. But if you don't mind carrying something on the crook of your arm or in your hand, then it's absolutely fine. But the bag can get heavy, so that's worth bearing in mind as well. But it can fit a lot inside, which is great. And you also have this flap, which you can just tuck in and it gives you an element of privacy in the cap you seen's bag. So a laptop will fit inside, but only on its side. But so I've taken that out. Here's an iPad, a diary, a book, a toiletry bag, a bottle of water. But to stop it poking out of the top, I would lay this on its side like so. So it's not poking out the top too much. Zippy purse, I'd put that in the center compartment to keep it safe. The bag is now pretty full and you can secure it by just placing the flap over the top. This is the Capucines bag with a darker outfit. Number five is the Speedy bag. So again, this comes in various sizes and today I have here to show you a Speedy 30 with a giant monogram print. So this is a classic bag and this is the Bandalore version. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag as well. I highly recommend the Bandalore version so that you have these different options in terms of how you wear the bag. Again, I have a liner for this bag. You can see a laptop does not fit inside, but this is a diary, a book, an iPad, a small toiletry bag, which all fits fine, a small zippy purse and a large bottle of water. So that all fits in the Speedy 30 perfectly fine. A great bag, again, classic, similar to the Neverfull, just a different style. Next up, number six, we have the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag. So this bag is, I believe, inspired by the Hermes Birkin bag. It looks great. It has an amazing structure. It never sags. This one is a cobalt blue, so it's quite out there in terms of it stands out. You can get this bag in so many different colours, from black to baby pinks, and you also get a detachable strap. So this is the small Sac de Jour size, even though it's quite a large bag but this strap makes it brilliant because again, you can wear it on your shoulder or over your body. So if the bag is getting heavy, it makes it a lot easier to carry. So inside you have two compartments and a zipper compartment, but in order to make the bag larger, you simply just undo the poppers and you have to pull the concertina out and this widens the bag. So again, great. A laptop won't fit inside the small bag, but if you get the large size, it will. So we've got an iPad in here, a book, a diary, easily fit inside one side, a small toiletry bag, fits in there, and a bottle of water so it can fit all your essentials in. And again, I'd pop your zippy purse in the center of the bag to keep it safe. Now this is a sac de jour with a darker outfit. Again, one of my favorites. This bag just looks fantastic all the time. It's quite understated yet sophisticated as well. Next up, we have the Givenchy Antigona bag. Again, a classic, an absolute favorite of mine. This is the medium size in a smooth black leather. Very popular with bloggers and influencers. Why? It's the ultimate kind of doctor's bag. It keeps its shape really well. It's very structured. It has the chunky zip, which this bag is really well known for and it's pretty hard wearing as well. You get this strap on some older versions. It's not detachable, on newer ones it is. Um, but it means the medium can sit under your arm, but it's not particularly comfortable, the smaller is. So a laptop will fit inside the medium. Uh, we've got an iPad, a diary here, they fit inside fine, a book, plenty of room, um, a water bottle inside there, a small toiletry bag. Now it's starting to get a little bit full because we're running out of width in the bag, but it can sit on top. 
Now, to find out more info about the different sizes of Antigona bags available, click the small i in the corner now and I'll take you to that video. Now let's take a look at the Louis Vuitton on the go bag. This is a fantastically structured bag, which is just a simple tote bag with a few twists. Now, I love the on the go because you can flip it around and use different colors so it can match different outfits. So if we just take a quick look here, you can get the larger on the go and you can also get a smaller on the go bag in MM. So this is the normal larger size bag that I'm demonstrating now, but if you wanted something smaller, because I know some people worry that this bag is too large for their frame, you could get the smaller smaller version but this one can fit absolutely everything inside and as mentioned you can flip it round so this is the normal monogram and the other side was the toffee so it's just a bag with different looks you also get these additional shoulder straps which the bag then sits perfectly on your shoulder it's not digging under your armpit it fits absolutely perfectly so you can wear this bag in two ways which is definitely needed especially when it gets heavier when you've got more things inside the bag so this is a huge plus point especially compared to the neverfull which doesn't sit as comfortably on the shoulder so again i have a handbag liner here this is my neverfull mm handbag liner click the small i in the corner uh, and i will link to this so it has a zip to keep it more uh, closed but you can take the zip off if you want to so now let's see what fits inside. I have a 13 inch MacBook Air. That fits inside perfectly fine on the side. An iPad here, a book, uh, my diary. So there's loads of room left. My toiletry bag, nothing popping out the top, a water bottle there. So this bag is incredible in terms of what you can fit inside. There's still loads of room and nothing's popping out the top of the bag, which is always um, a win because you don't want the top of your bottle kind of popping out. So it just feels a little bit more secure as well. So you can hold the bag with the top handles or on the crook of your arm, which looks great. And again, you can flip it round and it instantly looks different and goes with different outfits. So you can get the bag in quite a few different colorways and limited edition collections as well. So for number nine is the Prada double bag. Now, unfortunately, I don't have this bag here to physically show you, but I have had one of these bags before. So this is the large size. Um, it's fantastic, you get an extra shoulder strap. The arm handles are quite big actually on this bag so it fits on the crook of the arm nicely and the leather is textured so it doesn't scratch so easily there's a center compartment with a flap lid so you can put some small thin essentials in there and the double bag also comes in a medium size and a small size if you didn't want something as large as the large bag however a laptop won't fit in any of these bags 10 is a classic in the UK. It's the Mulberry Bayswater bag. So I've specifically chosen the zipped version because I like the fact that this bag has a bit more security and you probably don't want your colleagues nosing around. So you can see that this bag comes in lots of different colors, uh, styles and prints as well. So you can get it in a small size. This is the mini size just here. And you can also get it if we scroll down a little bit further in a micro size so that's probably no good for work so what we're going to do is take a look at the small size mulberry bays water again i like that the fact that this has a detachable shoulder strap but it can easily be worn on the crook of the arm as well and the back of the bag is very simple and the kind of lock on the front is very hermes-esque if you will so again, I really like the fact that this one has a zip because not many bags do. So it's more private. However, again, you can't fit a laptop in this bag. So it'd be no good if you needed to carry that. And finally, number 11 is the Chanel GST tote bag. So you can't buy this bag from Chanel anymore. So you would have to buy one pre-loved. But here is a black caviar version with silver hardware. It's just a simple tote bag with the chain handles uh, that you see on a lot of Chanel bags. Again, very popular. You have the two sections here, large sections and a zipper compartment in the middle to keep purses and things like that to keep them safe. A really beautiful and simple bag and that's why I really like this. 
and on the back there's a large pocket so you could slip a phone, a notepad or some notes in there for easy access. So another great thing about the GST tote bag. I just like this bag's simplicity and it's just classic Chanel. My final verdict of the best work bag is the Louis Vuitton on the go. Again, this is the larger size, but if you wanted a smaller one, you can choose the MM size. I love the fact that you can just spin it around and it looks completely different. It's simple, it's to the point. There are various ways that you can wear it. So I love that it has these additional shoulder straps. I just think this bag's amazing and it can fit everything in, including a laptop. Now, the price point of the on the go is around £1,800. So I would also suggest the Givenchy Antigona bag in the medium size if you needed to carry a laptop. If you get one from the pre-loved market, the price will be significantly cheaper than an on the go tote. Now, if you'd like to see a full price breakdown of all the bags mentioned in this video today and links on where you can purchase them from, click the small eye in the corner and I will link you to the blog on the website. Now, just some details on my outfit in case you're interested. In most of my clips today, I've been wearing a Zara modern coat in a nude colour, an All Saints sleeveless black shirt and an All Saints skirt called the Scatter Skirt. Thank you so much for watching my video today on my top 11 designer handbag picks for work. Let me know what you think or do you prefer a different bag that hasn't been featured or do you not agree with my points? Leave me a comment below and let me know what your favourite designer handbag is to take to work. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like designer handbags, there'll be lots more videos coming up soon. And make sure you stay tuned for the next video which will be linked here and I will be going through my entire designer handbag collection and rank it from worst to best.